Now we will study the refraction laws explained by wave theory. This is the interface between two medium. This is medium 1, medium 2 and for the example we will suppose that this is a denser medium. Okay. So, in denser medium what happens? The velocity of light become less, it becomes slow. Now, these are the wave fronts, the red ones and they are moving in this direction. The direction is shown by the black lines. This wave front, plane wave front keeps on moving like this, this, this according to wave theory till it reach this point. When it reaches this point, we say this angle is angle of incidence I because the two surfaces make angle I. Now, all the points of this surface become secondary source. When they become secondary source, they start making their own wavelets. So, it start making its own wavelets like this. Now, this is medium 1 which is a rarer medium and this is a denser medium. This is A and this point is B. A and B both are on the same front, they start making secondary sources together. B is making the secondary source and in one second its disturbance reaches here, in two second it reaches here. But its disturbance in this medium which is denser, in one second it does not reach this much. Why? Because this is a denser medium. So in denser medium its speed is less. So if the speed is less it can reach only up to this much. Then in second second it reach here. In third second it reach here. You see every one second it is taking this much distance. This is taking this much distance because this is a rarer medium, this is a denser medium. So after time t it reaches here, time t. And after time t this disturbance is here. Okay. The disturbance because of this point A has made a front here. This B has made a front here. Where is the total wave's wave front? Answer, we have to draw a tangent to all the wavelets. So, if this disturbance is here, this disturbance here, how do we draw a common tangent? In class 10th, you have studied how to draw a common tangent. The property of the common tangent is that it makes a right angle with the radius. So, all these circles, this is center. So, if there is a radius here, the tangent should be at right angle. And that should also be tangent to it. Now, to make it this way, I make trial and error and I find that this Yes, this is the common tangent, see this, this is tangent to both. If this is the tangent, what is the direction? Answer, see this, perpendicular to the wave front is the direction. This is right angle. This is the direction of propagation. The direction of propagation is always right angle to the new front. This is the new front. How much time has taken from this point to this point? T and how much time it has taken from this point to this point? T. So at T point, see this wave front. At T point, this has the disturbance reaching here. It is a larger distance because this is a rarer medium. This disturbance reached only up to this much because this is a denser medium, it has to be slow. So because this is slow, it reaches a smaller distance. So this is a long line, this is a small line. Now, what happens to the next instant? 
answer now this point this point this point this point all are in the same medium now their disturbances will move at the same pace and in which direction answer direction of the wave front is always normal to the wave front so they keep on moving in this direction so this is the direction they keep on moving and parallel to this and parallel to this this is the direction of propagation because this is at right angle so at time t it is here at time t it is here at time t it is here here the velocity in the medium 1 is v1 velocity in the medium 2 is v2 here v1 here it is v2 and part of the time at both the places so this whole disturbance of all the points have reached this point so this is the scenario then after a moment now it in the same medium this wave front keeps on moving in forward direction like this this way it keeps on moving so you are seeing something i am also seeing the same thing the direction has changed this is what happens in we can explain by the wave in the second medium the speed of the wave is less and this disturbance is in the wave here it is still in the first medium so this is fast this is large this is small this is v2 this is v1 and this is the reason that there is a bend in the direction so if somebody asks why the light direction changes why the light direction we deviate in the denser medium answer because velocity in the two mediums are different this is the reason okay now we have explained why it bends by the method of waves now we have to find whether law of refraction are having good here are applicable here this is the last wave front making angle of incidence this is the first wave front this is the wave fronts parallel to this so direction of this wave front with this surface is r angle of refraction wave front and the surface of the liquid or the surface interface so this angle is angle of refraction after refraction this is the first wave front now here sin i upon sin r sin i upon sin r sin i perpendicular upon hypotenuse this is perpendicular bc hypotenuse ac ac this is to be divided by perpendicular a b c d perpendicular ad ad this is to be divided by a perpendicular sorry hypotenuse ac in this triangle for r this is perpendicular this is hypotenuse ad upon ac now you see ac is cancelled ad upon ac that was right ac was cancelled so what we had here is bc this is cancelled bc upon ad bc upon ad and this ad is equal to v2 into t v2 into t here t is cancelled and what we get is v1 upon v2 this is velocity of light in medium 1 and velocity of light in medium 2 now for velocity of light in any medium it is a constant 
velocity of light in a single medium is constant it will not change unless medium is changed so here v1 is a constant v2 is a constant so this is also constant and we know the name of this constant is mu refractive index what is this sin i upon sin r is constant and that constant is refractive index this we have proved by wave theory so this is wave theory we have proved refraction so in this way we prove reflection and refraction both of them on the basis of wave theory so wave theory is equally capable to explain the phenomena of nature so that is taken that it is a true theory for the light now there were certain more phenomena which could not be explained by the earlier theories but could be explained by the wave theory so hygen he uh, thought about this that if there are waves then there will be a phenomena of superposition of waves and with the help of superposition of waves we will be able to make certain spots where the intensity of the light will get added up again if there are two sources of light then the light by one source can cancel out the light by the other source again one source is giving light to this wall intensity i switch it off other source giving light intensity i switch it off start both the sources how much is intensity 2i okay then he said that there can be there can be uh, a situation when i will see the intensity of light equal to 4i and here intensity is 0 intensity 4i intensity 0 0 intensity means what darkness and there are two bulbs if there are two sources of light here well, how much light you get zero this is possible that is what he said and he explained by theory that how this is possible that we are having two bulb two sources of light and what we are seeing is darkness and he explained it but people did not agree they say it is good on the paper you show it by experimentally then only we will agree that this may happen he could not show it but his student young could make it and he has shown it and at that time it was proved that wave theory is the right theory and the light moves according to waves so that for that we will study first the principle of superposition of waves what are coherent waves what is the principle of superposition and then how this darkness is created by combination of lights so that we will see that is a very interesting and that we will see in the next lecture thank you